very close with my God. And since I was a kid, I understand, and even throughout my life, I've always believed that God is the only person who is able to judge us, and He's the only person who is able to criticize or help us and guide us. So it would be in God's eyes that I'm beautiful. If you choose to become our mistakes, you advise a young person to be I would not advise them to make mistakes, but if they were to make mistakes, I would tell them that it's completely okay because our mistakes is how we grow as a person and we should take lessons from each of those mistakes in order for us to grow into better people. If you have the power to do one of the following, eliminate property and hunger, the government will go ground to corruption, or solve all environmental problems, which would you choose? I would choose A, um, to diminish um, poverty and homelessness. Having experienced it myself, I know how much it can affect a person. And I think that if we do our best to eliminate poverty or to at least help alleviate the homeless, that these people can be integrated back into society and these people can turn into someone who can bring positive joy and positive light into the world and also to be able to create change that we need right now. If you were to add to cart one item to buy in Lazada to send to all Filipinas to help inspire them during this time, what would it be and why? It would have to be um, affirmation cards. And I've said this in my video and I still stand by it today because for me it's something that I've always had even in high school where I take one piece of affirmation card, well in high school is a sticky note, and it would inspire me and really set my day for me. And now especially during this pandemic where we are hurting as people and hurting as a nation, it's so important for us to really inspire ourselves. And by then, can we only inspire others? Affirmation cards. Okay, thank you.